Logos opens to the home page where you can access your workflows, prayer lists, Bible reading plans, and much more, as well as browse up-to-date Bible study content and your Faith Life Group's feeds. Just above the home page, you'll find the search box. Here you can input commands for opening up resources, running searches, or performing other study tasks like a Bible word study. Logos even recognizes abbreviations. To the left of the search box is the Library button. Select this button to open the library window, where you'll find resources by type, title, author, or subject. Or use the Library Filter panel to explore your resources and sort them according to attributes, like subject, type, author, or publisher. To link two resources together, like a Bible and Bible study notes, open the Resource panel menu and choose Link Set A then repeat this process for the other open resource. Now you can read through the biblical text and the commentary notes will scroll with you. To rearrange your panels, drag and drop the resource tab to move it anywhere on the screen, or click and drag the edge of the tile to resize it. If you like this layout and want to save it for later, click the Layouts menu button to the right and choose Save as Named Layout, then give the layout a name. Now you can go back to the Layouts menu anytime, click the Save Layout, and Logos reopens the resources the way that you arrange them. Logos also comes with pre-built layouts designed for specific tasks. Choosing one of these options will automatically arrange the tiles on your screen and open the right resources to complete your study goal. Want even more help with your Bible study? Use Logos workflows to help guide you step-by-step -step through a comprehensive study of any passage. In the Guides menu, you'll find Basic Bible Study Workflow, which is designed to walk you through the study of any biblical passage. Each step in the workflow will clearly define outcomes, provide an explanation to why this step is important, and give you links that will help you complete each step. When working through a text in Scripture, it's important to know that Logos has embedded information in the passage you're reading. To see this information, right-click on any term in the text, to pull up the context menu. Here Logos gives you different kinds of information on the right, like original language data, and gives you a list of actions that you can perform on the left. For example, right-click the word peace here in Philippians 1.1, select the surface term from the right, and choose to run an inline search to find all occurrences. To quickly get an in-depth study of any Greek or Hebrew word, right-click and this time, choose the lemma form from the right. Then, Bible word study from the left. The report shows you how the word is translated throughout the Bible and runs a number of textual searches. Searching is a powerful tool in Logos. Click the search button to open a new search panel and see the different search types. Basic search will search for terms and phrases throughout your Logos library, while Bible search will focus only within Bible verses. Like the library menu, the search window allows you to jump right into a Bible search. Just input the term or phrase you want to find and press enter. But for more advanced searching, use the search template menu to build and execute powerful searches in any resource. By using the search templates, Logos tells you exactly how to search for this information and gives you the option to run the search. Jumping up to the documents menu, you can create or open documents like notes and highlights, prayer list and reading plans. Select the new button to see a full list of Logos documents. Whenever you create a Logos document, Logos will back up your work in your Logos.com account and synchronize it to all your devices. From the Guides menu, you can create specialized reports for different kinds of information. For instance, to see everything your library has to say on a Bible passage, open Passage Guide. Then input the reference that you're studying and press Enter. In the guide report, Logos provides links to all of your relevant resources that discuss this Bible verse, like commentaries, cross-references from the Bible, media, and much more. The Tools menu contains a number of valuable assets to enhance your Bible study, including interactive resources, the text comparison tool, and much more. For now, let's take a look at the Factbook where we can investigate biblical people, places, events, and more. 
notice that when I begin typing Herod into the search box, Logos auto-completes the search to help me find exactly what I'm looking for. For this example, let's click on Herod the Great, and the Factbook will instantly load a wealth of visual and textual information. If visual media is what you're looking for, open the Tools menu again, and this time select Media. At the top of the window, you can enter a keyword and find all of the relevant media available through Logos, or open the Filter menu and choose to search from the options provided. Thanks for joining me on this brief overview of Logos. For more information on any of the features in this video, search the Help Manual, hop on the Logos forums, or look for more videos on the Logos Help page.